Okay. What's up, machine freaks? Today I'm starting out my day right. I'm getting my truck cleaned, touch free car wash. I've only been to ones that actually touch it. I think I paid for the wash, rinse, and wax. I'm not sure if it's in that order. I'm not a car washing professional. But what I do know is this is a big rig and it's enclosed because we're in the north and it's cold outside. So they don't want their rig to freeze. But all my problems are getting washed away. It feels good. <laughs> Let's see how it did. I mean, it's wet. Didn't get the tailgate too good. I didn't think it was going to get the tailgate. This thing's almost qualified to be a big rig. We got the extended cab. Luckily, we don't have a long bed. I should have brought a towel. A towel dries looks a lot better. Keep in mind, my house is 25 miles from here. So from here to there, we'll probably pick up some dust and some dirt. So this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, can you see that? There's streaks. It's It's got streaks everywhere. I don't really think the $7 investment was worth it. It definitely was not worth it on the back. And throughout here, it just doesn't look very good. So that particular car wash, it was not worth seven bucks in my opinion. Now if I towel dried it, it might have turned out a little bit better. But as far as I can see, it wasn't worth it. But since I'm making this video, I remembered that I forgot something. You gotta love when you remember that you forgot something. Because that means you remembered. I can't believe I forgot all three of these devices inside. Those items are the reason why I'm going where I'm going. We definitely have to fix the internet issue and the phone issue because YouTube uses internet. So imagine if you didn't have internet, you wouldn't have 3D machines. Now me being one of your favorite YouTubers, if not your most favorite YouTuber, I hope that you guys are enjoying your day. And if you're not enjoying your day, well sit back, enjoy me do me while you do you. I got my stuff. Now before we had three devices, now we're down to two. And we could get rid of our router if we wanted to. If you guys don't understand, don't feel bad. I don't understand. But what I do know is if we got internet and telephone, I'd be a happy, happy guy. Saying that, I'm gonna plug this bad boy in and I hope she's turbocharged. Cause like my machines, I like my internet fast. And Torky, Brap! Jessica hooked this up with a new ethernet cable for free. So we'll get rid of this old ratty one and replace it with a nice yellow one. Since it's yellow, it's gotta add at least five more horsepower. Internet is not rated in horsepower, but it is now. It's showing me a Wi-Fi, it's just not loading. So I've probably racked up about three and a half hours invested into this and it still has yet to work. I made it to McDonald's. McDonald's is slightly slower. I'm going to try my best to keep other tabs closed so that, so that it can strictly upload this video. So I'm gonna get something to eat. Grim, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Scratching his nuts. <laughs> How's he say that? I gotta get the shot! <laughs> Close enough. We're using this plow for this old Polaris. Polaris do. do all wheel drive, all terrain vehicle with the light bar. You're putting a John Deere plow on, this here on a Polaris four-wheeler. Where are you gonna hook her up? We're gonna hook her up right under here. Polaris is quick connect mounts. Are you gonna weld them? Nope. Don't no even weld need to weld it. Jamie no. weld it. Huh? Best kind of weld. Who's gonna weld this beast? I got it. Are you gonna you weld her? We need something that's gonna hold. <laughs> grind it. So we gotta grind this down so we get a nice bead when we weld her. 
You got her all shined up? She's gonna weld nice? Maybe. Is this what we're gonna be using to weld her? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Nope. nope. Alright. Quite the rig. <laughs> you gonna lay a good weld? Huh? You know who you guys are. Oh. Is this operation gonna work, Kyle? God damn yeah. right. So the boys got the plow prepped. Very, very nice. Usually when people prep stuff for welders, it's terrible, but this is this is top notch, you guys. I really appreciate this. So we're just gonna do a tack here, a tack here, a tack here, and a tack here. Check the fitment. If she looks good, we'll weld her salad. After tacking it and fitting the plow back up and finalizing the welds, everything looks like it's working very, very nicely. I think they're gonna cut off a couple of these pieces to not only like help with clearance, but also reduce some weight. This thing's built extremely heavy duty. Like you don't need this, this thick of steel for what he's going to be plowing. He's not plowing concrete, he's plowing snow. Yeah, whatever we can shave off, we'll shave off. And whatever is gonna make it do its job the best, we're gonna engineer it that way. Weight reduction and clearance, all in one piece. Devin, to make sure that's cold, put your tongue on it. <laughs> we could roast a marshmallow off this right now. Rotisserie. Why don't you just get a little closer to it then? So we've played a lot with the plow and we got quite far, but I think now it's time to play. We worked, now it's time to play. Devin, I, I understand that you have a, a nice little sophisticated app here. Smart start. We're gonna start her up. So you just click a button and then it starts. So wait, 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 should we go this see? This is delayed. Successful start. Now go out here. All right, so we come out here and De Devin's right here. Nobody's in that vehicle. So let's just go. Really? Fancy. That's sophisticated. You know, I ordered one of those and I, I tried to install it and I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. And the booklet was a huge pain in the butt. I sat there for like an hour, didn't get anywhere. Kyle, you got yours done too? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I got the app, I ain't starting her though. Yeah. <laughs> you should have you should have used this the other day. Kyle, where are we going? I don't know yet. There do I. That, that might be no good. Hopefully they're not gonna take yeah, us somewhere and take our kidneys out. I want my kidneys. So we had to step by my house real quick and I had to get some money so I could pay Devin and Kyle back because Kyle treated me to lunch and Devin, Devin just bought a lot of Tannerite so I had to pay him <laughs> back. So thanks a lot, Devin. Anytime. Yeah, the, the FBI is after him, but. Is that your radar detector? <laughs> Freaking right out? Wait, why'd you turn it off? Can't hear the they diesel. Yelled it. I've gotten yelled at. Come on. They can't hear us. You should just pull up to the window then. <laughs> You're wasting fuel, man. I've been asked at Tim Hortons, sir. Can you shut your truck off? You get big chicken. Wow. Franchise? What do you want, Dalton? Can I get a water, please? <laughs> hey, look at the mouse. Mickey Mouse is at McDonald's. Ole, ole, all you feel, all you know. Thank you, buddy. You even put the straw in it for me. You guys brought me here. Brought you here. Oh man. You guys are gonna spend all your money, huh? Nah, 20 bucks. What? <laughs> we got a limit, play within uh, it. Like 10 bucks. <laughs> Broke guys from Guana, so Devin's at 20, Kyle's at 10. I don't know. I think I'll go in the middle, I'll do 15. I made 96 cents. In theory, this is the most expensive bag of popcorn. I, I ended up spending like 25, 30 dollars. Didn't win anything. That's a that's a lesson to you guys. Don't gamble. Gambling's stupid. But Sebastian is still in there. Kyle, Devin, and I are waiting for this guy, and we can't tolerate that. What are we doing? Our model was Sebastian. <laughs> we leave him. <laughs> there ain't nothing else to do with that kid. <laughs> you got to learn somehow, right? He does. All right, cool. That's a good story. The, the funniest part is, is we tried to call him in. Like, we were sitting around in the parking lot for what, two or three minutes, and then yeah. we tried to call him, and then it went to voicemail. We curbed it. You don't have to get that close. <laughs> what are you doing? I curbed it. <laughs> you curbed it? There you go, Devin, that's yours. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. What's that? She said you're being recorded too. Thank you. Uh, she didn't like it, I guess. We all got ices. I got a cherry. Kyle got a cherry. Devin got a cherry and a coke. You got cherry coke, dude. Cherry coke. He asked if there was blue. What? The last time Burger King had blue was like 1999. Wait, now we came back to the casino. We're gonna wait for Seb. Uh, we parked on the other side of the building. Now we came over here. We're right at the entrance, and we're gonna watch Seb go by, and we're gonna argue with him, and we're gonna commit that we parked here the entire time. I told you. Oh wow. I told you he was gonna go right by. There, there he is, right there. He seriously did not move. What? Here, want me to start it up? No. <laughs> yes. I'm, I got my four ways on. I started it up. Let's see if he really thinks that this is the spot. I bet spot. he doesn't say it. Why'd you walk way over there? I don't know, I figured like no one's over there. Maybe no, no I mean over, over there. there. I don't know, for some reason I thought we were parked over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We found a tunnel, so Devin's uh, testing it out. Sebastian's car wouldn't start because Devin put his gun on Sebastian's brake pedal, which made his brake stay on the entire time, and now his car won't start. I was about to say, like, why is it just the brakes, you know? That's right. so funny, though. Cry you want. Barely. You better let it run, dude. <laughs> All right, you guys have a nice night. We're on a mission from God.